In this video, I will be discussing the CT appearances of epiploic appendagitis and explaining why it's so important to make the diagnosis. This is a patient in her late 50s who presents with left-sided iliac fossa pain. You can see here, adjacent to the descending colon, there is a ovoid fat-containing structure with some surrounding peritoneal fat inflammation. This is a different patient who presents with symptoms very similar to appendicitis in the right iliac fossa. Not only is there a, an ovoid fat-containing structure with the surrounding fat inflammation, but you can see that there is a central linear structure which represents a thrombosed vein. The appendix epiploica is a finger-like projection of fat lined by peritoneum and it receives an arterial blood supply and has a draining vein after a capillary network. The plural of appendix epiploica is appendices epiploici. If you get a twist of this finger-like projection at its base, this leads to venous thrombosis because the blood in the vein can't get out of this uh, appendix and the fat surrounding the peritoneum becomes very inflamed and the actual appendix itself assumes the shape of a cigar. It cannot be overemphasized that in order to make a diagnosis of epiploic appendagitis, you need to see the radiological features of the condition, but also you need to exclude alternative causes such as cholecystitis, appendicitis, diverticulitis. So it's very important to keep on looking on the CT to exclude other pathology. Epiploic appendagitis is a self-limiting condition where you get focal fat infarction in an intraperitoneal position. Classically, you get a cigar-shaped fat-containing structure with surrounding fat stranding. And you may see either a dot or a line, depending on whether it's axial or sagittal, which represents the central thrombosed vein. This is so important, you must look for additional pathology before making an absolute diagnosis.